as you guys can, well I guess as you guys can't see because it's pretty dark, it's actually 2.30 a.m. in the morning and we're just about to leave to go to London, Ontario for our flight. <laughs> All right. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. We are at London International. Why is my head like so cut off? I'm short. Bring it down. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so we are at London International Airport. We're catching our flight at 6.30 in the morning to Calgary. Yep. Early bird gets the worm. Yep. And we woke up at 2 a.m. So we got only a couple hours of sleep and we're about to go in and check in. All right guys, so don't mind the uh, designer bags under our eyes. We're kind of tired still. <laughs> it's still early. Well, very early. But yeah, we're here at the airport and we're about to go inside and check in. We're travel ready. <laughs> and we got our masks this time once. What? <laughs> once. What was I trying to say? You know what I was trying to say. Yeah, we can. For once. For once. Traveling during a pandemic is what it's all about. I'm not sure if that's all it's about, but that's what we're up to right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. The airport is not very busy right now, so definitely no waiting in lines or anything like that. Yeah. And there's basically nobody here. It's a ghost town. Maybe uh, five, ten people at most. Yeah. We are in London Airport. We're just having a quick coffee break. We're flying into Calgary International Airport, meeting one of Attila's friends, and we're gonna spend a couple days there. We're gonna show you guys around, some cool things to do. We're gonna visit the national parks as well, so stay tuned for that. We just checked in, it was super smooth, super easy. They're hand sanitizing and actually wiping everything down for yeah. each of us, which is nice to see. Um, if you do want to sit around, if you have a long layover or you're just wait here really early for your flight, they do have charging stations here with tables and chairs and USB ports to plug your phone into so you're not sitting at a wall outlet like most airports. Yeah. So it seems like we're about to be the last ones to board the flight because we were enjoying our little coffees a little bit too much. Better but uh, yeah, I guess we're still going to make it. Still a couple people in line. We're tired, but we're super excited to get going. They said we got a white sweatshirt on, we're coming through. We're the last two, she said. Oh, okay. She's like, last two people coming through with the guy <laughs> with the white. Two Why did she take one at me? I'm not sure she didn't take mine. Is it because I look young? They're like, is this child allowed to be strapped? Damn. <laughs> Toronto and right now we're about to board on our second flight from Toronto to Calgary. That flight is going to be about four hours long, so yeah. Okay, so we just made it to our final destination in Calgary here and we're just about to go pick up our luggage and my friend Ali is waiting outside the airport, so we're kind of in a rush to go and uh, get our luggage. The flight was kind of long, we're tired. Yeah, but. we didn't get any sleep. We got like two hours of sleep before the flight, so that sucked. And the flight itself was just uncomfortable when you're really tired. 
Because the airport's a lot more busy than usual. Yeah. So we just landed in Calgary. We got picked up by Ali. <laughs> We're at Enterprise Car Rental. We're renting a car for the week to drive around. So we just picked up the car rental. We are driving back to Ali's to drop it off. And then we are going out to lunch to a Mexican restaurant. I've never tried Mexican in Calgary, but we'll see if it's better than Detroit Mexican town. I think we have some. Oh, you're a photographer? Well, we do videos like a... Uh... Well, we stopped at this uh, restaurant in Calgary called Tacos Mexico. This is what we ordered. I got some burritos. Here's some other stuff that they got. I'm not going to remember the names of everything. Don't, don't expect me. They're just tacos. Just Mexico. Authentic Mexican food. You order me? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, the food was so good. It was delicious. Everyone cleaned their plates off. Not a single person had food left over. And we really recommend it if you come here in Calgary. Tacos Mexican. Mexico, sorry. <laughs> Tacos Mexico. It's really good. Okay guys, so we had to take a little nap because we were exhausted. We took like an hour nap and now we're at the mall. I gotta buy some shoes because I didn't bring any, but I was already planning on getting shoes over here for hiking and stuff because tomorrow we are going to be going to Jasper to hike. And uh, we're just at the mall right now. It's called Chinook Center and it's a really big mall in Calgary if you want to check it out. Might have found some shoes. Maybe, we'll see. I'm going to try them on. Some shoes. I came prepared and <laughs> brought watching two Attila. pairs. Watching Attila. Watching Attila put on shoes. Things to do when you're in Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> he had to put the shoe back. It's uh, no bueno. Too big and they don't have the size I need. On to the next store. Guys. After 65 minutes of browsing. One hundredth time is the charm. <laughs> Where are we right now? Full Locker. Full Locker coming through. This video is not sponsored though. We're just saying. They're pretty awesome. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Full Locker. If you want us to sponsor you, let us know. Alright, so we're back from the store. And it took a long time to find shoes because no stores had my size. And we went to probably like five or six stores. But we're finally back home and now we're gonna go out for a little dinner and we'll take you guys with us, so. Getting some authentic Korean food. Korean food, that's right. So this is the restaurant that we're going to. It's called Han Korea Restaurant and uh, it's a Korean restaurant, obviously. With the Korean Center. And yes, the Korean Center Association or Calgary Korean Center is also over here. So let's check it out. Got some cute little painting over here. the best fruit tea in Calgary according to our friend Ali and his girlfriend Meow. And it's called Taiwan Fruit Tea oh. Yifang. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be part of the beach. Oh. I don't like that one. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. How is your Tea. Verdict, delicious. We are at the top of Mount Pleasant right now going for a beautiful walk. It's the highest point in Calgary and it's a nice park to walk around and stuff. There's a lion statue that you can see behind me and the view is honestly so nice.
How far can you jump? Not very far. <laughs> <laughs> so we found this cute little take a book, leave a book, free stand in the park, which I think is really nice. Everyone in the community can share books if you like to read. So we just finished walking around at the park right now. It's getting kind of dark, so we're going to go home now and relax. It's been a super long day of traveling and just uh, exploring. But we decided to keep it pretty relaxed for today, I guess. We didn't do too many activities. Just kind of explored in the area and had some really good food as you guys saw. And right now we're just gonna go home and get some really good rest and then uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.